Hello there and a very good evening. Deputy Chief Minister Tan Sri James Jibut Masing has called for a ban on the use of feathers of helmeted hornbills in cultural dances to prevent more poaching of the endangered species. He said by allowing its feathers to be used in cultural occasions means that the government condones the killing of these most magnificent birds. He suggested for the government to use hornbill feathers made from silk to emulate the feathers of hornbills. Apart from advocating against the use of feathers of the helmeted hornbills, Ma Singh believed that some cultural activities not in line with Sarawak's wildlife protection policies should also be banned. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture is open to proposals for a world music festival to be held in Miri. Its minister, Dato Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, said Miri could host a festival similar to the Rainforest World Music Festival in Kuching and encouraged the public to take up the challenge to organize such festival. According to Abdul Karim, Sarawak has recorded over 4 million visitors, visitor arrivals this year, which the majority of them are from the neighboring countries including Brunei, Indonesia and Singapore, as well as India and China. For Visit Malaysia Year 2020 campaign, he said Sarawak would be eyeing 5 million visitor arrivals with 8.18 billion ringgit in tourism receipts. The state government will provide the funding to enable the research on biomass produced from sago waste. Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zuharitun Abang Haji Openg believed that, that biomass can be used for cooking gas and if this happens, he said, cooking gas can be distributed to households. According to Abang Zuhari, the sago industry has provided a lot of income to the state whereby its export value was 85 million ringgit last year. He said the 797 million allocation for the agriculture sector in the state budget is part of the efforts to upgrade the sago industry on target to reach 100 million ringgit worth of sago export in 2025 with availability of new technology and approach. And that is all for now. Keep updated to news at TV Sarawak anytime, anywhere.